members of NUP and the media. I do not discuss tribes, especially in trying to juxtapose NUP with a man who makes his wife minister. <laughs> His son, commander of the Amri forces. His daughter, military advisor. It would be an insult to the people of Uganda listening to us, trying to defend ourselves against such a regime. So, we should never allow ourselves to be insulted. And then nobody should ever apologize for being a son or a daughter of his father. It's derogatory. And it's an attempt to divert us from key issues of governance in this country. Um, I'll speak about three issues, and very briefly. Initially, the air is awash with regimes nations to once again tinker with the national constitution. Let me say this. Questions still linger as to whether the current constitution actually still represents the spirit of 1995. Ordinarily, a constitution is a people's consensus. A constitution is a people's agreement. The question would be, if you carried out a referendum in Uganda, would people still say that the current constitution is the still the spirit of 1995? So what are you trying to amend? So Actually, it is insane. The question we are debating as citizens, and that's why initially as NUP, we said from the word go that do not waste our time with that debate because it is inconsequential. We are for a higher debate of Constitution, major constitutional and electoral reforms because we know where presidents are elected using the parliamentary system, even parliament is chosen differently. How do you even think about it in a country where constituencies are created according to, you know, people eat rats and they get constituencies? You know, people go and, they, you know, Leak from seven is boots and they're given the constituencies. Of course, we know the motors of that kind of idea are trying to circumvent the bigger debate as to whether Mr. Seven is still sane enough to lead the country or whether actually he has capacity to go and look for a vote countrywide. I'm afraid time is up. He can neither amend his age nor can he be able to summon more energy to traverse the country. And of course, he's aware that he lost the last election. Therefore, he's worried over another round of a terrible loss. We are sympathetic to the old man. But as a country, we are moving forward. We are going to embark, friends, on a national-wide consultative tour led by our president on a number of constitutional reforms we want to see in the country. And when the president announces his timetable for regional tours, that will be the essence. And I can tell you, because we know our president was elected by the entire country, we shall listen to the voices of the people because they actually voted us in the last election. I would like to ask NUP members, including friends in the opposition fraternity, that the machinations about constitutional reforms of a piecemeal nature being presented is a big attempt, a vulgar attempt to circumvent the huge demands of the population. You recollect, friends in the media, that in the ninth parliament, we presented a prefera of what we called the Citizens Manifesto, and it was rejected in parliament. There were so many intended amendments, and now we're being um, asked to consider additional piecemeal amendments, which we are not going to even think about because we believe the country in a crisis has to rethink the nature and the frame of a new people's 
consensus in a form of constitution. For me and others like me in NUP, we do not have a valid constitution. It's just a piece that has been torn in pieces. As relevant say, is a matter of national debate. That's the kind of debate we intend to lead, but not that piecemeal attempt at amendment. Secondly, the fuel crisis in the country. I think if you want to understand how exhausted and tired and relevant the regime has become, you look at the frimuse reasons given by the regime today about the crisis. That for the last two months, they, were, they could not fathom that failure of entry of fuel vehicles will cause a crisis. And because the owners of this testing center are the regime honchos, they will not hear, listen to that. May MPs have moved. Most of these testing centers are private centers. So they were more inclined about minting money from travelers than actually in the country. In another jurisdiction, where governments matter, today the Minister of Energy would have resigned. Because you have a junta, of course, the Minister of Energy is happy to announce peaceful attempts to solve the problem. Can you imagine that a country as old as six years has never thought about an alternative route of, trans of transporting petroleum products? That even when we have water transport, we have never thought of an alternative. My, my colleague, Honabu Namich, looked about the reserves in Nigeria. The reserves run by the National Oil Company are empty. Initially, they had been privatized, and some private individuals across the regime were using them for a song. Not that the taxpayer was benefiting. No. So we have a problem. So the government planning function is long dead. No imagination, no thinking about this crisis. So I think as a country, we have been reminded ably and in earnest that there is no government, but there is a regime for putting to be a government. Governments think. Governments have people with a sense of imagination and a sense of duty to people. So I want to invite the country to, to understand that Jerome Seven and his people have since hit a dead end no imagination. Kenya will go to the polls in a few months. If you ask the regime, do you have a plan in the event that Kenya hits a crisis during elections of having petroleum in the country? They will tell you, you see, we see when you are putting on a parade. That's the approach patient. <laughs> but fuel is a matter of national security. How can you be a country without reserves? <laughs> it's a matter of national security. So you cannot transport key services, medicines, food, and your government. So now our troops are in Congo for whatever reasons. Hopefully they will be home soon for lack of fuel. So uh, I can only say, in a nutshell, that we are being reminded that the government has since gone to sleep. And we are the problem believing that there's a government problem. They are reminding us that we few people think we have a government that is a problem. We expect whoever is the minister for energy or a prime minister worth her name, if she actually exists, to come to Parliament and explain to the country whether they are still living. You see, what we have a name about Ambla, like it's so. So we shall wait for her explanation. Then lastly, friends, the picture that NUP is in a crisis, I want to tell you that that crisis is running in somebody's head, not at NUP. But please, if you have that crisis in your head, please go and have a cold bath. NUP is a well-anchored party. 
We are a younger party in existence, but not in appreciation of our obligation to the country and to our membership. And look, the NUP leadership is not a bunch of morons. No. When issues arise, we meet, discuss them, and agree on what to do about them. Like any other serious entity does. That in any way, in any way does not erode a crisis in the party. And whoever is thinking about it, wish them good luck. But I would like to invite our membership and the all change seeking forces not to be diverted. Our duty is huge. Uganda has voted the NUP in the last election. Our duty is to gather ourselves up and recollect our energies and efforts and be able to claw back on the attempt of the regime to scatter us. That's an attempt to scatter the rank and file of this younger party. And I want to invite you to reject it. I don't want to, to accuse the, the media of playing to the propaganda, but to invite the media to see through the propaganda because we can do better. Certainly, as the law in parliament, I have a team. The party gave me 57 members of parliament. We, had, we now have extra 10 independents joining us. Sure that that is a party system. In the parliament, we communicate the policy of the party on all matters that come. You probably are aware that we have issued more policy positions in the parliament than any other group that has ever been in that parliament in six months. And that speaks about our party position, which we discuss. Some of it anchored in our party manifesto over the last election, but we contend that we were duly elected as NUP. That remains our position. And if there is a problem in the party, we have space big enough, we have brains cool enough to discuss and find a way of remedying any contradictions in the party. Otherwise, I want to invite the membership to find ways of propagating that campaign as an enemy of change, as an enemy of our party. The duty we have and all to ourselves and the rest of the country is to keep pushing. And even when we find the hurdles, like Irish of our members, which is the duty for us to go and fight, to remain together because we owe it to ourselves and the posterity. I thank you so much. Ufunze. Ensonga sato. Ensonga yo kuchusa sema teka. Natumu menya menyo utundu tundu. Eri mudiyo. Tu agara kusaba na yugana. Ndaba agara yugande. Pia. Ensonga yo wajituwa renga ya kutuja kumula mua. Wango kupa kaulu kafe, tiwalu tiyali bulari ya semateka. Kukua tabana pe vaku wata mbuli mbunaku. Simanyo wali mkiu sa semateka ke vaku wata abana ba. Abana ba fawabu hundi ya makomela. Tijama ze kweta akisa kukiu sa semateka o kwa tuwala. Osiru bulari ya semateka ili vaku hundi ya makomela. Norwecho, semateka ya kuluwa mchenda mweta. Kwa kienda ba yuzoeza kusawe no nga ringanga akapapula akebi rango kumbe. Kesi ensonge nkuru. Ensonge nkuru elinti. Ebi ebi kwa 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 gara kwa wana Uganda. Tuga ambanti neda. Omutu ya naya gara kwa wako chako la mmateka. Aina chiko la kwa wana Uganda. Echichu nne chiko le wawo kuyama maimu seven ni eva nne. Nabo omulu bidi lulu wakara ufuro waka waka. Ichikenda kwa wangara. Era wa chilo oza kwa wewa chyo. Chiba gara Uganda. Bagara biya kuriya. Ya tusaba ababaine mele solo kufumbi wa mangu wa fungi wa fungi wa fungi wa fungi wa kakane Batumekeo tereze kwa anga ya Tereza kwa anga bana na bazu zukuhu Oya uli langa atiaka uluka haba antwa habanyi Na kaa kesu duwe Osolo kwe sima uku ero siwa nwali haba antwa haba tunu Nyo ya gara kule mbira kwa anga uinopi ya nofesi kwa na Uganda Owa wenyira, owa weche kira kwa nofesi kwa na Uganda Iye nsongi mku Nolo echo nsama uya atititeba na Uganda. Kumutege ezenti, testuja kutiteba na Uganda. Kusana wako luo ndi mbwa mbwana, haba tono. Awalo ndi kula mbwana wetu. Eye nsonga, evela nkuru mawanga. Akamazo kuno kukanya. Kukanya, kukazi. Kumfuga, 
egoberi la mateka so senfu egoberi lo uteka teka ito tujia chiku watako nga NUP kwe naba angi fuse so nga mkwane kubanga okusala woku wa petuwa kurangi ila konsonge yo elamu misele bitalibi ya wala presidentu wa fajatu kulembe la mkuda yumba na Uganda abatu wa kalulu kubwa kenso nge mkuzi tubebo zaako no kubwa tegeza olibe tukula matubi kula kuruwa haba nsosi kuruwa mtu songe yo kubili ikatuba giro akebe ya mafuta akali mbwanda tuwali nsi e ina government inga tesumagira tesumula kuwe la mumbere bulijia mafuta wekali nye watu tegeza nchi ebe ya mafuta mwusio neko zechi ne wano kawe kwe wali nye be ya mafuta okufana kwa kubanti ya hiki ya fegu wanga ili esle miyake hivili nga wana kwa suma ya fegu wanga liyoka ili ya kule mbelu waba suma gifu ya be ya mafuta jeli nye ensonga Tibaate gira nti mwotu kabidja kuwa mula hini. Tibaate gira mbadi luda. Netu manjibulu unji. Nja abasoloza. Abasoloza kuboda. Bantu banyuanyi ba luji mweno. Choo bande kumukolo kwa kwe soloza kasente. Mwotu kanga tiba kwa hata kwa vileta mafuta gafu ya mba kuwanga. Mwuse ndala haba kule mbeaji watasumagira. Amafuta chabi ya kweri nda. Ebulari ya mafuta katuba gilo mkwanga, kalega vichia mkwanga. Mwani mseli wabanga ine pipe uwe wakatu jazino na. Habana wafiba gende kumasomero, habana wafiba kune mbele. Wata soora kuteka uo mbele kumasalo. Na kusala magezi malangu kuisa mafuta kumazi. Teweta aga PHD mkomoni sensu kumanyangu tolo kuisa mafuta kuleke ya Victoria ni gatuka. Echebu uzi wanja wate kila government yeno. Mwagi bali jibate merebi siki. Kusolo kubana tulimu katuba gilo kano. Ya kusaba na Uganda nti. Mwamu seve neva ni baba yambi woku batekeza. Nti vigenda maso na woku batekeza. Mwamu kore nsu yoku loza. Nti waliyo government yiba loza hako. Na yefe ngaba kule mbeze baba ntu. Abalo ndibwa. Tuwa te waka sera katono nyo tuwe tuwetekeze vigenda maso. Mwina haba viga nyo kutele era. Tujia bawa nyangu jifunua nona mafuta. Tumuga na kutusukila mga tuwa wuji wana avela mafuta. Tujia gano na yuti. Neka tukubele na kwe lono nye zidako. Tujia kwa tuwa wuji echidako. Ikisemba yu. Zebigambe vita ambulanti mu NUP. Wali yaka tuwa giro. Abanso suwa nwa mkasanzo kumuliangu. Obamu lujia simaji mkasanzo. Sina wagi enda kwa mkabu yonje. Waka ni mkabu yonje. Na ye. Na ye. Eo, neendo za tunenye na bawele Nawe kumechifani, wati ugede kule ni mpi kwa yogila kuchi Ono otunda chi Chenye alo gamba wa mimba bafe Chite mwudis wa Kuli chibina Ne chibina chitomu kube la o nesu mkutege la nchonga Kutege la mulu unji nyo Ogulemu Nuhu kusituwa wainzo kubawo, singa NUP ya buluzamu. Olavi ya baka matula wansina atu gabila kwa ulu mkande usatu nwemi tuwa alu mkada. Nga ya gabie ko, na gamba gabide ko. Kuma kukiriza nti, mwa hawa angula kawa. Kuma ni mwa hawa angula. Kwa hindo kiyo kubanga dala, ensole ni mwutu wa nukane kwa 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 So njia kusaba mbaba eni yupi na ndala Haba kili za mwiganda mpya Timuwisi mwaba antwa Giza kukute kawumu watwa Na kuhuza wuza bantu bafe Muno kukola mnene Fabali mpala mente katarali ya amanyi nyo Kuliyebu ulirilako Okusomuza kwa amanyi okuliyo Nebu ulirisonga jetu insa mpala mente Ebe la nsonga ya abiruzi ya eni yupi Ela kukule mbeze wa fuku Uliziganya kukuli mtendela Nyeche tuli indiga. Mstuku wabu kuwa na tukobele da. Kuli nsonge otu kwa kiki wabila kunga avantu haba kuru. Avantu haba tege. Elange chibi na chunecha agaro kule mbele kuanga. Kwa chibi no kola. Kwa chibi otambuze minu moja kwe. Yena ulilanga. Kututambula na kututambute. Chimo kembe nse meme. Yana mwaga amba nika chani mabanga. Tujia kutambula fena. Yana tuchia tambula. Echukulu chabi onanti. Mbame baba NUP. Yuki nanti, mwaro ndewa, jibinacha mwecharo ndewa, musigalenga mwribu munga mchambula mwena.
Yaro kwe baza utubia ate nukuli zana. Ati somani. Kukule zana.